former guest Lizzie Velasquez made quite an impression the last time she was on this program. Now 23, she was born with a medical condition so rare that there are only three known cases in the world. Lizzie says she's used to standing out, but dealing with bullies like people who went on the internet calling her the world's ugliest woman is hard. Yet in our beauty-obsessed culture, Lizzie finds a way to thrive and inspire. And Lizzie is the author of a new book, Be Beautiful, Be You. And Lizzie, thank you for including us in this book. There's a picture of you, me, and your mom right in here. And that uh, was very kind of you. <laughs> There, there is the same picture. Of course. And so, Lizzie, let, let's talk about these, uh, what I called online jerks. Uh, do you, do you, you're so resilient. You're so able to allow these things to roll off you without affecting your self-esteem. First question is, how do you do that? It's not easy. I will be the first to tell you it's not easy. I may have this outer exterior of, saying, of people saying that she can handle anything. She's dealt with this for so long. And... To be honest, I'm human, and of course these things are going to hurt. But at the end of the day, these things are just words, and they're people hiding behind their computers. And yes, they do hurt, but their judgments of me isn't who I am, and I'm not going to let those things define me. So I have to remind myself that these people are just going to keep talking about me, but it's not going to hold me back. Do you, do you ever wonder who these people are? Do you have any sense? I mean, do, do you encounter them out oh, in the yeah. world? Yeah, tell me about that. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder the people who think that, the people who do call me the ugliest woman in the world, I wonder, well, what do you look like? How are you so much better than I am? Just because I have a syndrome, you think you're a model? <laughs> so I really do wonder. And these people, again, are mostly anonymous people. So if they are so proud of who they are, they would show their face, but they don't. And, and I want to remind people that we keep calling this a medical condition. If, if I'm right, Lizzie, you, their basic condition is you were born with no fat, no, no adipose tissue. You don't right. lay adipose down right. anywhere. Otherwise, you're okay. Um, and, right. And then how about out in the world? Do people uh, sort of, do you have trouble with them out in the world or how people respond to you? And then how do you manage that? Yeah, I wouldn't say trouble. I think the biggest things that I have to deal with is constantly people staring at me as soon as I walk into the room. And recently, it's been a lot of adults that I've been having to deal with who will slowly walk in front of me and kind of turn their heads and look me up and down. So the stares are kind of what I'm really dealing with in public right now. But again, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to let that continue, and instead of just sitting by and watching these people judge me, I'm starting to want to go up to these people and introduce myself or give them my card and say, hi, I'm Lizzie, maybe you should stop staring and start learning. So that's kind of how I deal with it. And, and that's fantastic, Lizzie. And, and let me just ask this. Now, in, in this sort of beauty-obsessed culture we live in, most young women feel deficient. Do you have any kind of special insight because of what you contend with that, uh, that gives you a special empathy for, for just women at large in this country? Yeah, definitely. And to be honest, I feel like I'm really glad that I don't look like the celebrities out there who are so beautiful and so great and have all these wonderful qualities because to me, I feel like being that person, there's a lot of stereotypes attached to that. And people think, well, she's so pretty, she must be really dumb. Or she must only be into herself and that kind of thing. And since I don't look like that person, and many people in this world don't look like your average supermodel, it's better because it gives people the opportunity to get to know you personally. And if they're willing to take that extra step, they'll get to know the person that you really are. And again, it's something that's not easy. And I do feel really bad for people who struggle with that inability it, of it's, knowing it, that Lizzie, people can do that. It's interesting, Lizzie. Now, you, I haven't seen you probably a year, year and a half. You're now senior in college, and I can see more growth, still more growth from you. And I, and I thought you were pretty amazing <laughs> last time around. Let's take a quick call here. Ro you. Robin in Kentucky. Robin? Hi, Dr. Drew. Robin, what do you got for me? I don't think she's ugly. Beauty comes from heart. There's a lot of uh, people that are physically beautiful that are dark in their heart and they're not beautiful at all. That's right. And, and the people that are dark in their heart are the ones attacking her. What do we do with these online bullies? Hasn't this gotten out of control? Cut them off. Yeah, it's, 
Yeah, cut him off. I agree. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's easy to say that, and I guess we have that power, and if that gives you the satisfaction of just blocking, then go ahead. But, boy, I, just the fact that those people are out there and feel entitled to say that kind of thing to you really bothers